What up, y'all, and welcome to Talladega Super Speedway for the Go or Go Home qualifying race for the 10th round in the 2022 FBRL Napa Truck Series. On pole is Jeff James in the 36 truck for Monster Energy Racing, looking to make the show just the way he did back at Daytona. Bradley Ream is to his outside. Glenn Mixon and Austin Rogers in row two. Brett Houck and Carson Clevenger, row three. Kyle Vodders, Alexa Lushan, row four. With Eric Monaco and Griffin Label McDermott in row five. Got a couple of drivers from the Sony Cup Series and Hardy's National Series making an attempt to this week, Kev Shearer in the zero for CM Racing, Vince Freeze in the seven for Shark House Performance, James Ellison in the 11 for Crossroads, Luke Martin in the 15 for North Border Motorsports. As uh, wow, Jeff James is sleeping on the green flag here. Bradley Ream gonna get a good jump here on the green flag. Gatlin Downing the 55 for Morris Motorsports once again, and Bobo Jones in the 76 for North Florida Motorsports. Jeff James with a terrible start here on the green. He is going to lose several positions as Austin Rogers looks for the top spot on Bradley Ream. The way this race will go, top eight will advance into the event, start 31st to 38th. Um, and then we'll have four provisionals make it in on the show. With where the 15 is on the provisional order, there is a chance Luke Martin might have to use a past champion's provisional to make the race, as we are three wide for the race lead and four wide for fourth place behind. Goodyear bringing a tire here that will see some fall off occur and that will make it get a little tight on the inside line going into turn one especially. A driver's reported in practice that turn three and four it doesn't really matter how much tire wear you have. Uh, you can run the bottom still and get a little bit of ground up but the runs still come off turn four big time. Right now it's Kyle Vodders in the two truck leading the way. Vodders had a very good truck back at Daytona and would have got a top five finish if not for a blown tire at the end of the race. As Brett Houck was just in the wall going into turn one. All three team velocity trucks really hooked up aerodynamically. The partnership they've got with Martin Motorsports has helped Martin Motorsports get better aerodynamically. Austin Rogers, though, the only MM driver not locked into the race. He is going to need to race his way in. He's pretty far down there on the provisional order, but still a slim chance he could use a provisional to make the show. See Griffin Lapo McDermott, man, his last three races have been quite the up and down journey. From a last at Dubai to a top five in New Zealand to a last at Canada. As you see Lucia on there on the inside line, looked like she checked up a little bit going into turn one. You can see Griffin Lapo McDermott getting a bit of a run down the back straightaway here. Files in line behind Kyle Vodders. How about Revolution Racing's 39 truck, Mason Dagger? Now, this truck back at Daytona in the Go Go Home race was unable to keep up in the draft and was parked due to minimum speed not being met. And now Dagger, he's been able to keep this truck in the pack. So Revolution Racing, man, they seem to have gotten some stuff figured out here with their truck program. Single truck operation, trying to get things working together here. You gotta wonder where Blackout Racing might have been if they had stuck around. They were slowly building as well, but they ended up ceasing their operations. And now Austin Miller is with North Border Motorsports as Sean Ard appears to have a problem. 
We're hearing the 77 has a flat tire, and that is a tough break for the 77 team. And they're just going to call it a night. They're not even going to bother continuing. Fodders continues to lead. They are three wide at the front of the field. Behind them, teammate Glenn Mixon on the inside line. And that 77 team, they would have needed a miracle or they're going to need a miracle, rather, if they're going to make this race on a provisional. They are 16th behind four teams that don't have any provisionals to use. Should probably go over those. Uh, the 87 of Eric Monaco, the 2 of Kyle Vauders, the 10 of Nelson Reeves, and the 16 of Glenn Mixon. Uh, those four trucks are out of provisionals, so they need to race their way in. Now Mixon going to the point. Here comes Gatlin Downey in the 55. So Ard is last in provisional order. He is 12th. The only way Ard would be able to make the race is if the top eight consists of the 25, 65, 24, 29, 76, 3, 15, and 9. That's the only way uh, the 77 would make it in on a provisional. Uh, other trucks just ahead of him on that list are the 11, the 55, and the 20. Uh, those are the bottom four on the provisional order. They need at least a certain number of drivers ahead of them to race their way in. As it looks like there's another problem here in the pack. Who is that? That looks to be the 29 of Blake Warren. Yes, indeed, Blake Warren, they've reported an engine issue, something amiss on that 29 truck, and that has split up the pack. That has separated Jeff Bolton, Hans Musler, Musler, I think that's how you say it, uh, and Mason Dagger, all from the pack. Brett Houck also has been separated, well, maybe not quite yet. See Kev Shear, Austin Johnson, Clevinger, Griffin Label McDermott, Vince Freeze, Bo the Cameron, all hurting from the 29 having its issue there in the middle of the pack. But the checkups occurring in front of them on the inside line are going to let them draft right back up to the pack. Kev Shearer and Brett Hout, they are questionable to return up to this group, but the three other trucks back there that we mentioned, they are way back there now. They are two seconds off the pack, and uh, good luck catching back up. That's a tough break for those three. Right now, though, it's Nelson Reeves in the race lead. Be coming to nine laps to go halfway through this Go or Go Home qualifying event. Like Brett Hauk is going to lose the draft there. You can see him right there at the end of the picture. That 24 truck is third in provisional order, so he is locked into this thing. Though I'm sure that team would have preferred not using a provisional. Thirty-six of Jeff James, that truck not high enough it's its last start for the 36 truck actually last attempt on the calendar Jeff was in the truck for Daytona he's in it again here tonight at Talladega and uh, Dane Stinson was in the truck every other race that truck attempted Starting to see that outside line really come into play here. It's going to make it tough to start making moves. There's a bit of four wide going on right there between McDermott and Monaco. These drivers will not have to pit in this race. So let's take a look here in the turn one. There's the Brickashaw's in the wall there. Let's see how much does that inside line check up. You can really see it there with the 11 of James Ellison. Just 
on the bottom four wide. Even checks up off a corner exit. All kinds of momentum that you see Vodders going three wide for the lead in turn three. You see in turn three, inside line is good to go. No concerns here at all. See a little bit of a run there coming off of turn four. But Kyle Vodders back to the point. He's got Griffin Lapel McDermott right behind him. Time by the inside line, able to hold strong on the bottom against the outside group. Well, that was strange. Why is that happening? Uh, fastest lap on the board belongs to Austin Johnson in the 14. Waters continuing to lead. Five laps to go. The race is on, I think, here, mainly for that top eight, that final position. Waters, McDermott, and James, they look pretty solidified here in the top three. That tire wear is really starting to eat away at the inside line. Luke Martin going to clear down to the bottom, as does Nelson Reeves. Here comes Vince Fries and Austin, Austin Johnson. That 14 truck has not made a race since Daytona. Looking to make its second race of the season here today, or tonight rather. Solution on the outside line. Trying to get a run going. You see Glenn Mixon back there. That truck's got to race its way in. Vince Free's going to put his teammate in the middle three wide. It'll be three laps to go this time by. Jeff James going to put a move on Vodders for the lead. James will clear the two truck for the position. Austin Johnson going to get a bit of a run there in the middle. He jumps to the inside line. Jeff James just really getting a good run there with the tire wear. Not helping McDermott's case there on the inside line. As now he'll be put to the middle by Alexa Lushon. Going to be coming to the white flag this time around. Luke Martin, man. Looking to maybe start 31st over the 36 of Jeff James. We've had a caution free go or go home race here just like we did back at Daytona. James trying to put a block on Lushon. Can't get it down there. White flag in the air. One more time around Talladega. Freeze will put a move on Lushon. Three wide for the lead. Who has to check up pretty even there through turn one. Where's the run going to come off of turn two? There you can see advantage Lushon and Jeff James. Vodders with a big run on the outside line. 
Lushan and James, they clear down to the bottom. Freeze now getting the draft on Lushan. Who's gonna have the run? Freeze checks up a bit there. Advantage Jeff James through the tri -oval. He will clear Alexa Lushan and win the go go home qualifying race, but it's four wide behind them for the final transfer spot. And it's gonna go to Eric Monaco in P8. Jeff James, Griffin Lapo McDermott, Alexa Lushan, Austin Johnson, Kev Shearer, Vince Freeze, Kyle Vodders, and Eric Monaco race their way in. And that is not what Nelson Reeves needed. He needed to race his way in here tonight. P9 is not gonna cut it. He will miss out on Talladega. Getting into the race via provisionals. As we look at the running order. First provisional will go to Bradley Ream in 14th. Next one up goes to Brett Houck in the 24. Blake Warren in the 29. And now here's where things get interesting. The 76 of Bobo Jones would be next up to get a provisional. However, however, Luke Martin in the 15, who finished 11th right behind him, has a past champion's provisional to use, which means the 15 is going to get in over the 76. So that'll dictate... The last four positions, Bradley Ream, Brett Houck, Blake Warren on provisionals, and Luke Martin on a pass, champions provisional. With that said, guys, I'll see y'all Friday night. 45 laps of action on tap. It's sure to be a good one. Talladega back for the first time since 2020 in the Napa Truck Series. What kind of action will we see here Friday night under the lights?